which is what are three common mistakes that you find online retailers making? Pricing is number one. I don't, I don't think I don't think they're doing pricing right. And I, I can I mean I can see products and go that's not priced right. I gotta just look at it. And go, and it's, you know, a lot of them Keystone. Keystone is where you basically double your cogs and that's your price. Um, you know, there's there's things that in pricing and most retailers do this. Not all. Um, most retailers are IMU pricing, initial markup pricing. Uh, so you have your cost of goods sold. You have the markup that you want on top of the cost of goods sold. Uh, you have discounts that you should be putting in there uh, uh, and allows for discounts and allows for shrink. The stuff that's broken, stuff that's stolen, stuff that's not delivered. You should have an allowance for that and put that in there because somebody's bearing the cost of that to you or to your consumers. Um, and some even put in an allowance for shipping costs. If you're doing free shipping, you should have an allowance for shipping costs in there uh, because so it's 20 years now, shipping is not free, period. It's not free. It's a lie. It's never free. It's baked in. So it's never been free, never going to be free. Um, so if you don't bake those into your pricing, you're off right away. But that's also the markup, right? So imagine having all those things baked in, and then you have a consumer who comes up and says, I'm going to pay $20 for this pen. Hey, guess what? All those are baked in there. Your margin's even more higher than what you were anticipating get it, right? And because you have an allowance for free shipping and they didn't take that. So you've right, you made money off of that. You have to put the tools in place in order for you to use the tools. And a lot of them don't do that. So I think that's one of the problems. Um, I don't think they're very good at targeting. Uh, a lot of retailers start, they don't have an audience. They think I'm going to open a store and things are just going to fly off the shelves. And that's not the case. Um, this year, a lot of retailers saw, I mean, I've talked to a lot. They've seen 40 and 50% drop off in, in traffic from the SEO changes this year. And they're just like, oh, that. And, and now that uh, retargeting is all but gone uh, from Google, and you're now doing remarketing, retargeting only on social platforms. It'll be Facebook. Uh, I think, I don't know if Pinterest does it or not. Um, and uh, a few others. It, it's going to, it's going to constrain the resources. And so you should expect those prices to increase because now you have Google, the big dogs out of that fight. So now, you know, the remarket on those platforms should go up in price, be my guess. Um, and ads in general are expensive. So I think, you know, a lot of these guys start, they don't have an audience. Um, one of my favorite creators uh, on TikTok, I follow, he actually lives in Ohio. Uh, he created a brand for shorts, athletic shorts, and uh, he's a short dude. So he's got it costs a five nine collector. I think it's five nine, which isn't terribly short. But anyways, um, so he went through during COVID. He sat down and sewed all of his shorts in his mom's basement, <laughs> and he learned how to sew. Taught himself, but he figured out quality. And so while he's doing, it, he's demonstrating quality. Well, that's why his shorts cost forty five fifty bucks, and he, they were all handmade. He sold them out every time he list. Sold them out. Never had to run an ad. Never had to do anything. So if you have an audience before you start, that's helpful. Um, and it should just be your mom, dad, your brothers and sisters and brats. It's not being the audience. Um, so I think that's one of the other problems. The other thing too, is I think that, um, just a lot of them don't understand digital ads. They don't understand email marketing. They really don't understand offer orchestration and, and that type of how to get customers to buy. And the more they learn about that, the better off they'll be. Um, cause a lot of times they panic, um, and they're like, I gotta get money to your point is it's Easter and I've got to sell all this stuff and I'm stuck and I'll do 60% off when you could have done 20% off. or you could have done targeted offers to different people. Um, and that would have done better for you. So those are probably the three biggest problems. It's so easy to start an e-commerce store right now. Um, maybe, maybe too easy, uh, because someone posted, I, I echoed it, but I'm not sure if it's right or not, but I've seen it like five times that 90% of these companies fail within 90 days. Because the, at the end of 90 days, your $1 a month for Shopify is over. And they're like, well, good. <laughs> they shut it down. And I'm like, that makes complete sense to me. So I'm waiting for Shopify to say, of those 2.4 million sites, how many of these churn every day? So uh, I'm sure there's a big number there that not a title. 